All right, our goal here is to simplify this expression. So to kind of unpack it, to understand what's happening, I'm going to expand it. What I mean is I've got 2 times x to the fifth. That's the same thing as 2 times x to the fifth. And this is being multiplied as well. Times 3 times x squared. So I now see, oh, we're multiplying 1, 2, 3, 4 types of um, digits here, or terms, I should say. And, well, 2 times 3, we can do that. That's just 6. But x to the 5th times x squared, right? If we think about what's going on here, we have x to the 5th is 5x's. And x to the 2nd, we're multiplying that by x to the 2nd, is 2x's. So all together, we can group them all by the associative property. We can say, oh, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7x's. Or it's 6 times x to the 7th. A nice shortcut is that we can just add the exponents because really these exponents count the number of multiplications. And if we have five multiplications of x by two multiplications of x, all together we have seven multiplications of x. All right, hope this helped.